the time that would be that which would allow for great ease of connection to spirit, great ease of transformation, great connection to the idea of source, and great facilitation with regard to the shifting of your reality experience in the physical world. So they were given this gift, this idea from spirit, and in that sense manifested it in physiological form to be representative of a key, a master key that would allow for great fluidity and malleability of physical reality and manifestations that were desired upon the earth to bring down higher energies into physical manifestations around those higher energies like a circuit into physical manifestation and materiality. Beautiful. Yeah. Walk with them each. Walk with them. Their raw master crystal. And thus then, through many, many, many days of meditation, many, many days of a shared combined dream state, did they thus understand exactly what needed to be done with these crystals and how they were to be shaped. And they received this information from non-physical guidance. Once they had actually completed imbuing the skulls and yes. creating them. And then they carry them back to their own locations in the world. Each to a different culture. But in that they were all together at the beginning, they are also key to each other. So no matter how far apart physically they may be, there is always some connection, some linkage, some vibration. Now, because of the nature of physical reality being what it is, physical proximity does still tend to amplify and focus the energy of the 13 master skull. But even though they may be separated by great distance of thousands of more miles, nevertheless, they are still interconnected though not necessarily as strongly, or shall we say, as in a focused way, or for a particular focused purpose as they are when they are all within physical proximity to one another. Nevertheless, being dispersed throughout the world, they were still able to, in a sense, maintain a link with each other, and individuals could communicate with each other in different locations They would tap each other in a meditative state on different places at different times that were preordained, prearranged in that sense. And thus then at these prearranged ritualistic times was information shared and downloaded into the scrolls and through the scrolls to the other folks and to the other individuals around the world so that all could stay in touch and know what was going on in different places and that also they could coordinate different acts, different efforts. This is why you find that around your world the idea of the Great Pyramid and the Pyramid of the Sun and other structures around the planet that were all created about the same time were all coordinated at the same time and why there are so many similarities in some of these cultures. Once the crystal skulls had been taken to various parts of the planet, yes. historically what they to bring us to the present day where crystal skulls are separated.